started the engine, so that means we're really doing it. We, we are doing van life. And I would be lying if I said I didn't feel like I was going to throw up a little bit. <laughs> going to Florida, friend David, I think he's been in previous vlogs, he built out a schoolie. And he's already down there. I'm going to meet him down there. My other friend Chango that I was in Asheville with, he's in Florida. I know of like so many other people also in Florida. The Tiny House Festival. Florida Tiny House Festival is this Friday. I don't know if you guys remember last year when I went. I flew down to Orlando and went. Crazy that I'll be pulling up this year in my van. I would be lying if it's not, if I said it's not nerve wracking because I just, what am I doing right now? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm gonna look back on this clip and be very proud of myself for just taking this leap. It's a new moon and I just been saying that the 15th is the day I was gonna leave, not even knowing that it was a new moon. <sighs> yeah. Just a little like, <laughs> I don't know, anxious I guess. We're gonna make a couple stops. We're gonna do the very last Arden's Garden trip of the year maybe, I don't know. I gotta get gas, I gotta go to the bank, probably get some water. It's just bittersweet. It's not like a goodbye Atlanta, but it's like bye Atlanta, you know? Ah! Okay, it is 8.30. The goal is to get to the Florida Welcome Center, which is three and a half hours away. And then if I can get to Ocala before sundown, which I think I can, um, that would be nice. Okay, but I need to do this before I just like talk myself out of it. <laughs> actually put in the wrong Florida Welcome Center <laughs> and uh, we're back on track now and we have been for a little minute but I realized this once I saw the Welcome to Alabama sign and I was like why am I going that way I was headed towards the Panhandle Welcome Center and I'm not trying to go to that one <laughs> trying to go to the one I think it's in Lake City so it added like 40 minutes to my trip but it is okay everything is fine i've stopped once for gas so far uh probably gonna have to get another i was like an hour and a half away from like i thought i was i was like wow i'm almost there and like it's great it's okay uh, i think once i get to the welcome center i'm gonna take a little quick nap i can feel it in my eyes a little bit that like we need to rest soon I'm definitely gonna just like breathe and hydrate and everything i have about two hours until I get there, which I said like 40 minutes ago, so it's a little like, ah, <laughs> but it's okay. We good, the sun is shining. It is hot. <laughs> it's funny because like my eyes were so tired when I was driving. Now that I like got out of my van and walked around a little bit and like got the sunshine on me and stuff, I feel like tired. Anyway, made it to Florida. Did I say that? We're in Florida. My van is officially touched that I know of. Well, me driving it. I don't know where else this van has been. I'm gonna open this, it's hot. What were we talking about? I'm a little loopy. I'm not gonna lie. We made it to Florida in one piece. Everything's fine, it's a thousand degrees. I used to live here, y'all. Who's been following me since I lived in Florida? Comment that down below. That'll be really crazy to see who's watched this journey. I'm going to my friend's fruit farm. Uh, that's kind of, I guess, the destination. And it's only four hours away, and so like, Honestly, I could make that, but I don't want to like push it too crazy, but it's tempting. <laughs> but I'm not going to push it too wild. I'm going to like chill here for a second. Just give my eyes a rest from looking at the road. I might just do a little bit of breath work. I think I'm going to pull up in Tampa though. I think I have friends in Tampa. That's where I used to live. And I think one of them would allow me to park in front of their place. Y'all, life is weird. This time last year, I traveled to the Tiny House Festival. I had a rental car and I drove over to Tampa just for the day, like just to like go to Tampa because it's where I used to live and stuff. And I did not know that a year later I will be in a van going through Tampa. University of Tampa. That is crazy that people are going to college during this nonsense that's happening. But we're actually gonna go to Bayshore Boulevard and breathe and stretch and possibly 
take a walk or ride my bike. Oh my god, college students, what is your life about right now? What do you think matters? Because it doesn't. Anyway, I'll check in with y'all later. My friend Christian said I could pull up and park at his spot, so that is the plan. That is a one-way, sir! Sir. Good morning. It's dark. I mean, it looks dark when you're here. It's really not that dark. I didn't sleep with this bandana on for the record. Whoa, bags. <sighs> See, it's not that dark. This is where I parked. About to. Oh my god. I slept so hard. I think I'm gonna pack a little bag. I'm gonna ride my bike to my favorite spot. Oh my god, I haven't been there since I lived here. If you've been following me for a while, you probably already know what spot I'm talking about. But I'm gonna ride my bike around. I'm gonna go to that spot first though and get some breath work in. Whoa, it's crazy going from like Atlanta, which was, I just checked the temperature right now. It's 45 degrees there right now, which I can say isn't like horrible, but it's like 77 here. <laughs> so last night I was like, oh, I don't need covers. First day of van life. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if you look here to my left, <laughs> see my very first apartment where I used to live with Lexi. If anyone has been following me, it didn't look like this at all. There's also a Biden poster in the room that I used to live in. That was my room, that was the bathroom, and then that was Lexi's room. It looks so gentrified and pretty. I'm sure it cost double the cost it once did. So many memories. Just time being an adult and paying bills. So many tears in that room. <laughs> Crazy. This is my second apartment when I lived alone, which is a huge chapter of my life. So much happened in this apartment. I lived uh, in that one right there. That was my room. Cried so hard when it was time to leave. Crazy when you think like, I'll never be back. I'll never see it again. Here we are. About to go on a long bike ride. reminiscing and loving the sunshine. I know, all morning I was checking my phone. I'm like, come on, where is she? Said, it's 9.30. Where is this baby at? <laughs> wow, all right. All right, Nick's a dad. He's a dad. It's real. Currently. Okay, this guy is like blowing leaves. I don't even know what leads he's blowing. But uh, but guys, I'm an aunt. My oldest brother Nick had a baby. It's a baby girl. And I'm so excited to meet her. I'm so happy for my brother. I'll talk to you more when it's not noisy. not gonna believe who I'm with. I'm chilling while they work out. I almost want you guys to guess what you're gonna find out in like the next clip. But if you can, if you guess this before you see this person, 10 points for you. This person allowed me to take a shower. So I feel like a whole new human. I needed that shower so bad. I washed my hair. I just feel really nice after just being disgusting all day. And yeah, I'm just really excited for you to see this person. It's gonna be, you're gonna be like, what? I can't wait for all the rumors that are going to start from this next clip, but it'll be funny. YouTube is ridiculous. 
thumbnail. Okay. Millions of views. <laughs> He's back. I'm part timer. We're in the same frame again. <laughs> <laughs> It's been like 80 years. That's Everyone's probably losing their minds. Huh? Everyone who's watching is like, wait, what? Yeah, I don't even know her. Yeah, I don't know who you are either. <laughs> you just worked out, I just didn't. I worked out. The usual. The usual. Yeah, tell them how we used to fight and shit all the time at the gym. Listen, every time we went to the gym, the, all those clips y'all saw, y'all didn't see the real shit that was going on. We were fake as fuck, like, we ain't showing none of that real shit. We was going over. <laughs> <laughs> not always arguing. <laughs> we're just best friends that happen to date. And now we're best friends again. <laughs> always. Uh, we did argue every time we went to the gym though. Like every time. Maybe maybe it was just crunch. I think that was it. It was just crunch. You think if we worked out here we would argue? No. Was what did we argue about? I, I I don't I don't even know. <laughs> I I really I really don't even know. Like, I don't know either. I don't know. Like, what were you mad about? <laughs> I would just be mad. It was usually me in the gym. I didn't want to be like that. I think you put me through workouts. Remember, you were just learning how to be a trainer. <laughs> and he put me through workouts that he was doing, and I'm like, bitch, I'm not at that point yet. But we, we both, I, wasn't, I wasn't as good as a teacher. And I wasn't good at asking for help. That's yeah. really all I needed to do was be like, yo, I need help. Facts, and then it was just a surprise when it's Yeah, dumb shit. It's the usual. It's still just dumb as fuck. Did you still watch him though? I don't know, but I hope so. Hey, I love mom. you. <laughs> you too. Yo, that shit hard. You got bamboo. You know, you just can't get your bamboo's on, though. But it looks tough. Yeah, it looks tough. See, yep. That's how, that's how it is, right? <laughs> calls me out. I'm not shit. <laughs> Yo, no, 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 don't even say that because like the first thing you did when you put it was maybe not shit. Ten minutes into hanging out. What did, what did you say? What, what was the first thing you said when you saw me? Well, first thing I said was you got tats. Or no, no, before that. What did I say? I don't know, but it was something. You got tattoos now, It was the usual I ain't shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Know. I'm not really mad. It wouldn't be our friendship. I'm not happy about that. Actually. I came up to you on some nice shit. I'm like, what are you doing? Hey, it's so great! Are you feeling it? That would be weird. Yeah. This is not how we interact. <laughs> yeah, no. I gotta talk shit. That's how you know I fuck with you. Alright. We are off to Sarasota to meet David, finally. This has been like an ongoing thing. Every day. I'm like, alright, yeah, we're gonna meet today. It's really been me. I don't know, I just love Tampa, so I'm spending time there. You can stop all your speculations also, if you're gonna do that about DK and I. That's forever, like, one of my best friends. And those of you who have been following me for a while, you probably remember that all on YouTube. It's just, we like laugh so much about it now. Like, we were best friends and still are, and like, I just, not that we shouldn't have dated, but it's just like, all right, we, we did that and that didn't work. And I'm glad we're just able to be like, yeah, we're best friends. There are some really cool times together. So it's just cool to still have him in my life and know that like there's no love lost, you know? Yeah, Tampa was lovely. I'll probably be back, honestly, because there's so many other characters from the past that I want to see. I'm really excited. I just want to play volleyball with David and just lay down. <laughs> um, if you're wondering, I've been on Only Juice since Van Life started, and I did an enema this morning. Wow. 
here in Florida. I'm here with the van, with the bus. This is happening. Oh man. It's real now. I had to vlog this moment. Ocean. Yes. You were like such a hippie. It was like, hey, welcome to Florida. Like, it was like, traffic. I need to turn around. I was like, do I stop? I didn't know what to do. No, I was hoping you didn't like try to like stop in the middle of traffic. I thought about it. Like neighbors. I'm in the bus. I'm in the oh, brakes man. <laughs> My house falls apart. Chloe and Josh versus David and Casey. Let's get it. I can't see. Okay, we lost all four games. <laughs> Yes, we did. We definitely progressed. We're gonna blame it on so many things. The sun, the wind, the court was too small. They had a warm up. That's we almost won that third game. I know. We should have had that next time though. We missed really dumb things, but it's okay. The sun is shining, so everything's fine. I know. Definitely not that cold, but I don't know if I wanna like get all the way in. I wanna at least get like waist up, I think. Guys, I'm just so happy and free. <laughs> like, I can do whatever I want, whenever. Just go and I'll leave and I have everything. It's just crazy. What was taking me so long to do this? <sighs> All right, I'm gonna at least get in waist deep. Break. What is this album called? <laughs> In and through the body! <laughs> in through the body. Bike ride time! Right. Let's get it 10 miles. Oh! Yes! Look at this sunset! <laughs> yes! This is a good idea! Yes! Okay! <laughs> Let me put this down and bike. Casey. I am currently at Healthy Heart Farms, fruit farm. Some friends of mine via Instagram, they reached out to me like forever ago saying that if I ever came down, I had a spot to park for as long as I'd like. Just so, so cool. So shout out to them. I'm gonna link them down below. We got in really late last night. It's kind of an adventure. But yeah, I am feeling really good. Feeling it. <laughs> like, I... I haven't been this active in so long and it feels so good. My body has been craving all this movement. You know, we played volleyball for probably like a little over an hour yesterday and then just diving into the ocean. The ocean felt so good, it was so warm. It was breezy when we got out, <laughs> but it was so warm and like healing. It was really magical and then yesterday we were like, we did this 10 mile bike ride, which like, I don't know why when we first said 10 miles, I was like, mm, yeah, whatever. Because the day before I did so many in Tampa. But um, <laughs> the journey there took longer in my mind than back. The ride back was nothing. And then we biked back and then we drove here. We got here at like 10.30 last night or something, 11. I slept so good. I've been sleeping so good. Waking up at like 5.30, 6 o'clock. Today I woke up at that time and then I went back to bed though because I was like, no. Let me just um, show you like what it looks like. Oh, my hips, hello. Well, you can't really see anything. He's over there. There's fruit and stuff over there. I don't know what's over there. Our friends that actually live on this farm aren't here yet. Ooh, I gotta charge you. So I'm kinda just waiting for them to get here to tour it around. But I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger and end this vlog here. And I will see you in the next one because my battery's dying. Thank you for tuning in so far. The journey has just begun. Let's see what happens next. Peace. Thank you.